we want to find the exact values of sine of negative pi over 6 and cosine negative pi over 6. So remember, if you're not real comfortable with radians yet, the very first thing that I always suggest that you do is you convert it to degrees. So negative pi over 6 is negative 30 degrees. So when I draw that, I know that negative 30 is going to be down here in quadrant 4. And that when I do that, remember there's that little imaginary circle we got going on around here. And so when I do that, I'm going to draw like a right triangle. And I know that this point is going to be the square root of 3 comma minus 1. Now remember, I say I know that. Well, how do I know that? Well, I know that because this angle right here we just said is minus 30 degrees. So that makes it a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, remember you've memorized how to solve a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So what good does that do me? Well, now I can find r. So remember, r equals the square root of, and I'm going to have my x value, which is the square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. So when I simplify that, I'm going to get the square root of 3 plus 1, which is 4. So the square root of 4 is 2. So I've got r. And now you want to use your formula. So I know that the sine of minus pi over 6 equals, remember sine is y over r, and then I have cosine of negative pi over 6, which is going to be x over r. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try it on your own, and then come back and check your answers. So welcome back. Hopefully you got the right answer. So the sine of negative pi over 6 is negative 1 half. And the cosine of negative pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. So these would be your final answers over here on the right-hand side.